Hi, my name is James. Uh, I've developed a new sort of, uh, I guess, side application to Pyro CMS. Pyro is a PHP-based CMS uh, built on CodeIgniter. And so one of the great things about Pyro is that you can install a whole bunch of different modules to do different things for you. Uh, but one of the problems is creating modules can be a bit of a pain, especially if you haven't done them before and you have to figure out, okay, what does this look like? Where does this go? You might have to look at some of the built-in modules and figure out where everything goes that way. So I've been working on this for like probably about six or seven months and it's a module generator. So there's actually a code igniter generator that does uh, CRUD for you. It's sort of in the same vein and I copied some of the things about that that I really liked and this is basically it right here so it's just a big form you'd fill it out you would add a bunch of fields you would choose you know what kind of input you want I've only selected a few right now I, I just for testing purposes and then you choose what kind of input you want the constraint what if you want a default whether it's null or not your validation and your basic information about the actual module itself so I'm going to go through and I'm going to create one from scratch. So we can call this the uh, testing module. Author names, put my name. I'll just put my site. Uh, package, I usually just say pyro. Sub package, usually I go with whatever this is. In this case, I'll just say it's a slider. MIT. Backend true and front end true. First field we'll call this name. It's gonna be a var card, it's gonna be an input, so 255. No default, no not null. It's gonna be required. We're gonna trim it. I'm gonna hit add field, it can add more. See so yeah, it's still a bit beta the way the select drop downs look. The next thing we're gonna go is a message. It's going to be text, it's going to be a text area. It's going to have no constraint, no default, and it will be null if they want. So we'll trim it, XSS clean, that's probably fine. So I just generated it, it generated successfully. So I'm going to check out here. I have a new folder called generator. Now this module full folder is actually where the boilerplate or like template sort of set. So if I check out one of these files, you'll see that I'm replacing a bunch of text. I'm just going in and finding replacing a bunch of like sort of codes that I put in. So module name L is module name lowercase. Uh, you know, and these are all those forms that I just filled out. So it goes through and does all of them for you. Details, you can see here that I just have a little place here for details. I automatically include the ID and I automatically include the order because those are two things that I always end up using. Clients always want to be able to sort uh, the file, so I just I just keep it in by default. You can always comment it out, and you know it'll, it won't even go in. Something I don't really use that much, but is in there just for you know shits and giggles. It's uh, the settings, and of course that's commented out because I don't really use it. I also have some other defaults in here for like files. So sometimes it's annoying to do file uploads, so I basically figure out the best way to do it, and then I just commented all of that out. So if I do want to keep files in, I just uncomment that stuff and I basically get file file creation or upload fields really. Um, so then the generated folder is where the new module goes. So you can see I called it testing. So if I check out one of these, you can see that it replaced a bunch of files and it's called testing now. It replaced, you know, added in this new, uh, val uh, the new uh, forge. So I chose Varkar for the name, it's 255. The message was text, it wasn't was null. The I didn't put in a constraint, so it just if it's empty, it won't put in. Same with uh the uh default. If it's empty, it just won't won't put it in. Uh you can actually see here some that are a little bit crazier, like the validation for the controller. So it automatically does that for you. So let's try adding this to an installation. So I'm gonna copy this. I have a pretty fresh version of Pyro here. I'm just gonna paste that in there. Refresh this. There it is. Testing. Install. Yes. Sweet. It works. Let's go see. Let's 
create a new item. Sweet. My name's Guy. My message is Howdy Partner. Save it. So the default uh, index page for the uh, admin is just uh, I just put name and then I put the ID. So I mean you can always change it. And when you edit it, it's all ha it's all fun. And I think if I hopefully the validation works, which is be required. Yep. Sweet. Save that. Uh, one of the things that probably hasn't isn't that well tested are these other ones like Bool, Blob. I haven't tested. And some of the weird ones like drop down and multi select, and of course checkbox and radio are a bit tougher to, to get, but text area definitely works. Um, and so does input. Uh, something else that might be funny uh, using like mixing cases, like if you did like um, I have some things that clean. The, the names and stuff because uh, you know in the in the mod my like my uh, my models and stuff to have lowercase names uh, so if you actually go and look here in the modules it says it's capital here but if you actually check the module it's lowercase so and even inside it's lowercase as well so mixing cases and uh, stuff like that might might mess everything up but you know you'll have to test it and see the nice thing is you don't have to go in through find and replace every everything. You just generate and uh, create modules.